Hi, I want you to make this video to help those people like me who struggle just to get set up with the new vocoder in Reason 12, which is called BVX. And maybe I'm a bit slow, but I, I struggled for about half an hour with this. So if you're in the same boat, you might find this video helpful. Basically, what you need to do is to set up an audio channel like this one and record what you want the vocoder to sing if you like and you do this by speaking into your microphone and recording a piece of audio and um, I'm going to run this and you'll hear it. it's just a piece of nonsense if I just solo this you'll hear it so this is just a bit of speech not singing I should stress fire mountain mountain on fire okay so absolute garbage just to show you what to do so you've got your audio track I've called this vocoder voice and that's something for the vocoder to work with now to get to the vocoding bit you set BVX up as an effect on this audio channel so if I go to the rack you can see the audio channel and I've put in an instance of BVX the vocoder as an effect on this channel no need to set up a synth because there's a synth already in BVX now the next thing you need to do is to make sure that you on the sequencer page record some MIDI notes into your sequence so you run the sequence you have this bit of audio running and with that hooked up to the vocoder you play some chords on your MIDI keyboard and then with a bit of luck all should work well now there's a few settings on the vocoder that you need to uh, adjust so that you hear your vocoded signal so let's go back to our rack in the vocoder here if I turn up this amber colored slider that relates to this amber section over here which is the modulator which is your incoming voice if I turn that up only fire mountain you can only hear my normal voice and obviously you don't want to hear that you want to hear the vocoded signal and to do that you turn up this one here with the robot the green slider and that relates to this section here which is the vocoder part now listen liquid molten magma flowing down the mountain good news you can actually hear the vocoded signal and this is what confused me a bit if you turn up the red slider you get the synth see the synth is colored red here that's the carrier synth you'll hear the synth as well coming up Fire mountain. It's not a particularly great sound is it so you don't really want that the one to turn up is the green one while I'm on the right hand side here the unison gives you a kind of chorus you can have a, a voice count here you can turn it up higher than four, five, six, whatever. It gives it a thickening sound. Let's just play that. Fire in the sky. Fire mountain. It's pretty nice. Uh, in the red synth section, you can change quite a lot of things. I'm not going to go into great detail because that's been done better on other videos. Uh, but you turn up these uh, harmonic sliders and you get fifths and octaves Liquid molten magma flowing down the mountain. you can change the octave and bring it up if you like coming up to higher fire mountain mountain on fire so that's up one you could come down fire in the sky there's lots of things you can change and you can get into all kinds of madness down here with the pitch wheel mod wheel and LFOs it's as complicated as you want it to be and then of course over here you've got the auto play now when you boot BVX up it brings up this auto vocode patch which has auto play on and that means you don't need to play your keyboard and that can give you a different effect uh, but if you want straightforward vocoding, I suggest you turn that off. If you want that explained, look elsewhere. There are some really good videos about that. Basically, you can make the incoming audio signal from your audio track uh, stick to certain notes on the keyboard here just by making a little chord here. This will just uh, stick to that scale only to get that kind of uh, robot sure type voice. But, you know, I'm just talking about old school vocoding here. If you want the old vintage style, you click vintage 
you get a kind of a chuggier, chunkier style of vocoding. Not as clear. The modern one is much clearer. The formance changes the sort of gender. Mountain. Goes a bit bitch it monkey, more sort of like a lady. Liquid molten magma flowing down the mountain. Put it down there. Come here. Fire mountain. I'm sure you get the idea. So this isn't meant to be a super technical video because I'm not a super technical kind of guy, but this might just help you get up and running. Most important thing is make sure you play notes on your keyboard on the vocoder track. Let's just show you again. See the MIDI notes, make sure you record some keyboard playing, otherwise you won't hear anything from the vocoder. Okay, and on the vocoder itself, make sure you turn up the green slider to hear the vocoded voice and the other two down. That's the main two things you have to think about. And also if you've got autoplay or to scale switched on, switch those off unless you want that particular function. Hope you found that helpful. If you've got any questions, please get in touch. Thanks for watching.